Oi, Cosca. You're listening to gangsters who've promised a World Cup of Terror. And incredibly, these police wiretaps record threats and orders from men already in prison. Welcome to the extraordinary world of the PCC. The police charts show Brazil's biggest crime organization has possibly thousands of members. Even inside a violent drug cartel, Brazilians go by nicknames at the top Marcola, in prison for 20 years and still in charge. To buy and sell drugs, they need to, to do with violence. For police, the threats to the World Cup are serious. We are prepared to avoid this kind of actions because we are monitoring them all the time. And then because of that, we sincerely believe that it's not possible. They don't use to practice violence for free. They have a, pur a purpose. And outside of the prisons, this is where the PCC calls home, the notorious shanty towns, the favelas, where they exercise extraordinary influence and almost total power. Sprawling Sao Paulo is rich territory. The police take no chances in the favelas here. Last year alone, the PCC killed 100 officers. They show us an alleyway where drugs are sold. The man in the blue shirt, they say, a lookout. But authorities say they are winning. This the haul from a raid on one alleged branch office, collecting nearly a million pounds a month. Suspected PCC members now in custody. Daniel Martin started trafficking for them when he was 12. After prison, he became a missionary. The PCC tattoos remain. I used to work for the devil. Now I work for God, he told me. They would never attack the World Cup, he says, because it would look bad for them. They're not stupid. They're not everything they're made out to be. But remember, the opening match of the World Cup takes place here in the PCC's backyard of Sao Paulo. Suddenly, authorities are not only having to reassure the world it'll be ready, but also that it'll be safe. Greg Milam, Sky News, Sao Paulo.